Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it is go time with the one and only Mega Crasher. Let's just jump right into this video. So before the video begins, if you guys are new here to the channel, please be sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on, as well as let's see if we can aim for six likes here for this video. If you enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe and comment as well. And with that said, let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're here on Pokemon Go Hub, and we have ourselves the next Safari Zone event taking place in Yokosuka. So with that being said, let's see the details here of this event. All right, so first things first, ladies and gentlemen, this event is said to last for a total of five days, starting from August 29th on Wednesday to September 2nd on a Sunday. And unlike prior events, those wishing to attend this free event need to apply through a special website and submit applications. And it starts on Friday, July 6th at 10 a.m. and closes Friday, July 20th at 10 a.m. So giving you guys exactly two weeks to plan things out and to submit your applications. Now, this right here is a single day event for each trainer, despite them saying five days. And they also state that the application goes over capacity. They will hold a drawing to select attendees, upon which those selected will get a barcoded ticket to get in and see the event. Now, this also is sort of like you could say a deterrent to spoofers because the thing is, is that the trainers without a ticket will not encounter Pokemon at the event location. So, in order for you to be able to encounter those Pokemon at the event, you need to submit applications online to get a barcoded ticket. So, it would seem like that Niantic is really cracking down on spoofers here in this event in particular. So, basically, in order for you to attend this event, you need to have a barcoded ticket. And if you don't have a barcoded ticket or don't have access in general, well then, you can spoof there all you want, but you won't be able to take part in catching the Pokemon that specifically spawn at that event. Now, I just gotta ask though, is Niantic going to be better prepared this time around? Because if we remember back to the last Safari Zone event, there was a lot of server issues. There was people complaining that they weren't able to log in, you know, people were lagging out, and it was just a big mess. But Niantic did make up for the fact that they had an event later on in that week, that being actually uh, currently this week, uh, for those that are in Europe. But basically, it means that, you know, the extent of that event is simply put that more Corsola are spawning, and that's about all there is to it. There's no increased shiny spawns or any of that stuff. However, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of shiny Pokemon, we actually have ourselves a brand new shiny Pokemon that's going to be released during this event, and that is Shiny Wingull. Going from an aqua blue color around the rings of the wings to a very amazing lime green color. And I gotta say that I absolutely love the Shiny color palette. You know, it's a very light and simple yet effective change that makes this really, really solid as a Shiny Pokemon and is something that's going to make Wingull much more sought after because, let's be real, you know, Wingull isn't exactly a desirable Pokemon that you want to encounter in the wild. Now, also, ladies and gentlemen, we actually have ourselves some Safari Zone effects. Now, besides the updated procedures and security, they also confirm the effects of the Safari Zone and what Pokemon will be appearing. So, in Japan, you got Torchic and Feebas that will be found much more often. Throughout the world, Wingull will be found more frequently with a shiny form confirmed, as we had just mentioned. As well as the usual unknown, the regional Tropius will make an appearance in the Kanagawa Prefecture. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves yet another global challenge, and it's the same as Dormont and GoFest. Completing field research to unlock star dust bonuses will take place on September 1st and 2nd. So, this right here is an amazing opportunity to be able to farm for Stardust because, let's be real, you know, we need to have that Stardust, especially now that trading is a thing, and it requires quite the amount of Stardust to be able to make trading uh, a thing because without Stardust, you're not going to be able to trade. So, my recommendation for you trainers is to not only save your Stardust, but to also take full advantage of 
of the global challenge rewards when it comes time all right ladies and gentlemen so that right there is going to conclude this video i apologize that there wasn't exactly a lot of news to talk about here but i wanted to bring to your guys attention this event right here so for those of you guys that are planning to go to this event well now you have a little bit more of an idea as to what to expect in this event and the dates and times and all that stuff to be able to get your online applications on as well as be able to plan ahead which days you guys want to attend this event. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Much love to all you guys, and I'll see you next upload.